Welcome to the credits video for Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. Looks like they do get back together. And lots of friendship friends. Ah! <laughs> the old game! <laughs> That made it look like the fireflies were still intact. <laughs> this game was beautiful. getting healthier again. Interesting that it specifically says Steam and not PC. But yes, I had a great time with this game. It was really fun to reconnect with this concept of my childhood and actually play it all the way through. Okay, some of the puzzles were really opaque. A couple times I did have to check the internet. But I didn't for most of it. It really just clicked, you know? And I like that. It made it challenging and not, you know, impossible. I liked coming back and even getting a second round with the Emperor. I guess he just slipped off of uh, Blubalonia after the first time. You know, the art style was whimsical and cheery. Uh, even when you died, it wasn't too... I mean, it was frustrating, don't get me wrong, but... Even when you died, it's just... Ah, damn it. As opposed to, all is lost and you have failed. The video director. I guess for that one cutscene, huh? You know, WayForward did their thing. Uh, beautiful 2D uh, and, uh, art here. And, uh, 
Well, like, you know, I didn't think it was a perfect game. I did have, like, legit complaints about it. Like, I feel like it could use... It could really stand to have any kind of story to it. Where's that credit again? Tyrannical Overlord. I wonder if Voldy Way is a real person, or if it's, a. Uh... Wait, was Way Forward founded by someone named Way? Huh. But yeah, the jelly beans, the puzzles, the uh, the whimsical nature of it. They did a really good job of uh, modernizing. Uh, well, I say modernizing. It was from 2009. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the 90s concept of a boy and his blob. And it's been a while, so I would absolutely play a uh, a brand new one of these. You know, the, I'm reminded here that there was a mo at the end of the credits for God of War, there was at least five minutes of silence. And I thought, oh, maybe the uh, the the thing's scrolling too slowly. Although I later realized that the part where it fell silent was when it got to the uh, like the PC port credits specifically. So it must the the music in the background must have been specifically timed to last the precise length of the original PlayStation 4 credits crawl in that game. So that when they added new stuff for the port, uh, it just kind of threw the whole thing off. But just thank you to all of these people for the work they did on this game. Especially that guy who filmed reference footage of his kids. <laughs> A foot face, you say? That must have been Stephen Foot. I am kind of sad that they went their separate ways at the end, but you know, I got it. I got it. In the original game, uh, Blobbert was explicitly your pet. It was just that he was distressed because something, you know, because the Emperor had taken over his home world. Uh, in this one, he had a family of his own. He had a life of his own on his home world. So I can understand why they would, you know, spend most of their time on their, appro on their appropriate planets. But hey, Billy's still got a, uh, you know, best friend in the stars. That's cool. Not to mention he can literally come by whenever he wants. You know, the... I was trying to think if there's anything specifically about the puzzles I found frustrating. And I don't know, sometimes I had trouble with the, like, nature of Blobbert as, uh, like, an actual character in the game, as opposed to, like, following scripted paths. Because there were moments where it's like, well, there's no, really no reason this solution shouldn't work, but he can't seem to get himself to the jelly bean I threw. So, you know, there were issues there. I don't think the music was supposed to stop, you guys. But yeah, yeah, really, I would, uh, it would really do my heart good to see more of this franchise. Because there really wasn't a whole lot of it to begin with. There was the original one on the NES. There was a sequel on the Game Boy. I did mention that one, right? The Rescue of Princess Blobette. Oh, uh, that might be because there's, like, regulations for using actors uh, under a certain age. There's, like... Uh, A, uh, there's like laws saying that if a child is under a certain age, they can only work this many hours a day for acting. So they like to hire uh, like siblings or twins in uh, live actions stuff. So I can imagine why they would get like you know two uh, siblings near the same age to do the voice. Ode to Blob. I do like that. 
Ah, uh, that was the sad song playing over the uh, the proper credits, yes. It was really good to see something from my childhood uh, updated, I gotta say. I wonder if this is how it would feel if I had actually played, you know, Monster Boy 3 back in the day before I played Monster Boy and the Dragon's Trap. Mind you, that was basically a reskin. And you're welcome to all these fine people. Thank you for the uh, great job you did, you know, bringing this franchise back. If it was the last A Boy and His Blob game they're ever going to make, then I'm glad I got to go on this journey with you guys. And if they really do approach it in the future, maybe with more of a story and, uh... Hey, I don't know, maybe co-op? What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I'd like to be there. One last treasure. Is it the crown? I bet it's the crown. Well, it's not the crown. It looks like a crown, but it's not the emperor's crown. Huh. Weird. I'm going to put a jump cut in right here, because technically this is the same recording segment as the previous episode. I can't believe I forgot to say it in the actual video, but I guess I was a bit emotional over leaving behind this franchise for my childhood. So I want to give a very special shout-out to Clunk279, who gifted me this game. I had a fantastic time with it, Clunk. And it's all because of you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, there is one last challenge level. What the hell? Let's hit it. I... Oh! Ha! <laughs> I thought it was going to be a message. It's one... They have given me oh a full a full set, berry balloon, uh, cola bubble, mint double, apple jack, banana anvil, bananvil if you will, licorice ladder, punch hole, and tangerine trampoline. One, two. Is it and three? It is. And no treasure chest. Okay! Ooh. Spikes on the ceiling. That doesn't usually happen unless there's a rocket involved. And you know there's not. Does he touch the side? Wait a minute. Oh, you're already back. <laughs> Good to see you, Blobbert. Welcome back to Earth. <laughs> I didn't even think that through. Ah. Oh, hey! Look at that! I didn't even intend to do that. Sorry, Blobbert! Which I guess that would have happened no matter what. Hey. Oh, dear. Oh, maybe I don't have to go up there at all. That would do it, yeah. Oh. 
You know what? I'll just do this. And then I'll wait a moment. Careful, there's spikes up there. It is nice having an indestructible friend. Four? What happened to two and three? I'm confused. I thought it was going to spit me back out in one. And something would be different. Okay, maybe this is the ultimate challenge level. I don't know why I would go over there. Now that I look at it. Hmm, do I have to do one more, uh, episode of this? I might at that. Well, it wouldn't be the first series where I played uh, after the credits, certainly. I mean, I mentioned God of War earlier. That game had two different credit rolls. One of them was the credits that came up over the screen while I was uh, con still controlling Kratos, and the other one was a proper credit roll where everything faded to black. Uh... Okay, maybe this. Okay... Wait! How the fuck am I meant to get him up there? Seriously? So he hasn't come down there, so I'm gonna need to fix that. Um Let's actually do this again. Shit. Okay. Huh. Is that really what they want me to do? Bring that guy up here? What? I don't really... Hmm. Maybe this. But I would still need to be able to get below him. Oh. Oh! I can get below him. Discovered that he will charge if he thinks it's me. Oh dear. I didn't realize that was even water. 
Well, thank you for your sacrifice. No. Oh. Oh no. And four. Achieve and unlocked ended the forest challenges. Well, there's the timer. Right then. Of course. Of course. What else would it be? It's, uh... Yeah, it's the same as this one over here. We beat the level, so we got the concept art of the boss. Gubra. Puzzle bosses. It's been a long time. At least I didn't have as much trouble with these ones as I did before. Hell, I didn't even have to do an elevator cut with the true form of the, uh, the Emperor here. Oh god. What's with a skeleton arm? It's like he merged with the beast in that concept art. And the mech, of course. Can't spoil that. Well, the timer has gone. Hey, it's okay. I... I don't know if you'd like to see me look at the other versions of this crown level with, uh, you know, uh, oh, is it two, three, five, and six? So, uh... Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna. Bob. Hey! This way. And I guess just in case you guys don't want to see that, I should do a proper outro, huh? All right. Well, if that's the case, I'm burning dog face. And, oh, right. Oh. Yes! Actually, before I go, I would like to look at the achievements that I did not get. But first, ended the forest challenges, complete all the challenges of the forest world. I never remember to do this anymore. Look at the ones I didn't get. Uh, oh. Well, that would do it. I got 100% of the achievements! Hell yeah! <laughs> Starting with show some love, hug the blob five times on April 27th. And ending with Ended the Forest Challenges, Complete All the Challenges of the Forest World, Unlocked uh, June 4th. Look at that. <laughs> Ahem. Yes, a proper outro, just in case. I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, Billy the Boy, Blobbert the Blob, and, uh... Well, I guess whoever's been manufacturing all these jelly beans and, uh, Blobbert's people back on, back on Blobalonia. I thank you for joining me for Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I hope you've enjoyed coming on this journey with me. I hope you'll come join me on my next video series, whatever that might be. And if someday they release another one of these... I hope to see you guys there. Till then... Have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!